uh, an Autodesk, Autodesk account uh, for Fusion 360. So the first thing you want to do uh, is click on the Fusion 360 link uh, on the side there. It'll bring up uh, a Google Doc uh, with some of the basics for Fusion 360. Um, if, if you'll take your mouse, Alex, and follow me with the, with the pen. Uh, up here at the top, it's got a link for Fusion 360 CAD software. So go ahead and click on that link. That'll take you to the Autodesk website. Okay. Um, and the first thing we need to do is go ahead. Uh, we'll go up here to the top uh, where it says sign in. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, and it's going to ask you to sign in or right below it. If you don't have an account, it's going to ask you to create an account. So that's where we're going to click on. Uh, so go ahead and uh, Alex is going to do this for himself. Uh, but you're going to put in uh, your first and last name. Make sure that you use your parish email address. Mr. B. Always helpful to spell your right first name the right way. Make sure it's a password you can remember. I've got no access to whatsoever. He's going to hit the button to agree. He's going to create this account. It's going to bring us into a couple of new menus. Uh, I would uncheck that. I don't want marketing. <laughs> All right, go ahead and hit done. Okay, so now it's going to bring you to this page. Uh, it's got this black box uh, that says get started. Uh, he's got an account, but it needs to, uh, says we still need to confirm your eligibility for educational access. Uh, so now we go ahead and click on that black button that says get started. It's going to ask him to sign back into his account they just created. Oh, parish. Parish. I will always get my email wrong. It's okay. Okay, so now it says uh, verification required. This is the first part of it. It's going to send it his, send an email to his student account. Uh, so it goes back there uh, and does the verify email. So that's the first step. That's the that's the easier one. Okay. Uh, so you can go ahead. It, it kind of took him back to this page. We can go ahead and, and close out of this page. Uh, go back to the, the page you're on before. Uh, and since we continued it, let's pause here for a second. Since he verifies and come back to this set up your education profile. Uh, so we kind of need to work through this as well. Uh, so country, go ahead and select United States all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you would be a student. Uh, and we are a high school slash secondary. Put in your date of birth. Make sure it's your correct birth. Uh, don't just make something up. Uh, go ahead and click next. Uh, if you start typing parish Episcopal, uh, at some point, keep going. There you go. You can click on parish Episcopal. Go ahead and click the top box that says architecture, engineering, construction, uh, and then enroll from. Uh, if you're new to Parish, just do whatever you came. Uh, if you uh, have been here for a while, just do when you got to the upper school, so your freshman year. So you can do August. What year are you? 2024. So you're a freshman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so since Alex is a freshman, he enrolled in August 2020. He's going to graduate in May of 2024. Let me go ahead, hit next. It's going to say continue. And it's not really being honest with you because it's going to ask you to verify again. <laughs> okay, so once again, brings us back to this page. It says we still need to confirm your eligibility. So click on that get started one more time. Okay. Uh, make sure that everything uh, looks good. Uh, he's going to go ahead and hit confirm. 
uh, and it's going to bring up this arrow. And this is completely normal. It just says, hey, we're unable to, edit, to confirm your eligibility. Uh, so here's what we need to do. So we're going to leave this tab open. We're going to go back to my parish. Okay. Uh, and then once you're logged into my parish, you're going to come all the way over here to where your name is. And you come down to where it says files and forms. Brings you up. You're going to check the box for show completed forms. And then you just scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, to this most recent one that says U.S. behavior and academic expectations. And you come over here and click uh, on the print button. It's going to generate a report. Uh, this is where you and your folks signed off on uh, the behavior thing. Uh, this shows that you are enrolled as a current student, and that's why Fusion needs to see this. Okay, there's no identifiable information on here other than uh, your names and that you're enrolled. So you're gonna come over here to the top right uh, to where it says download. Hit the download button uh, and go ahead and save that in the downloads folder. And it kind of comes down here as a PDF. Uh, and this is the PDF that we're going to need. So now we can come back to where it brought us. Uh, and uh, up here in the red, where it says uploading a copy, click on that link for uploading. Uh, and then this is where you can either click on browse or you can just do like Alice is doing, drag it in there. So we drag this PDF that is his behavior agreement form. Uh, and this is enough to show Fusion 360 that you are a current and verified student. So now as you come down here and hit submit, uh, and the process may take up to 20 minutes. So you may have to wait a little bit, but you should be able to hit close. Uh, and now if you come down to Fusion 360, don't click on it, uh, but it says get started. Uh, if we click the get started one more time, the black one up here, Click that one. Now it says he's confirmed. We waited long enough to get Autodesk software. So now instead of saying get started, now it says get product. So what Alex is going to do is go ahead and click on get product, uh, click access, uh, and it's going to start downloading uh, the Fusion 360 information right here. This isn't his actual laptop, so we're going to stop right here. But on this point on your laptop or your device, you would go ahead and click uh, open or install, double click it. And it's gonna download and install Fusion to your machine. You know what, let's, one process right there. Let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, go ahead and click, uh, yeah, click open. It, it is kind of a long, tedious process, which is why I wanted to have a, a student demonstrate what it looks like from the student side of things. Depending upon your Wi-Fi speed and your Wi-Fi setup, uh, it may take uh, quicker or longer for all this to happen. Uh, but I have already shared the uh, CAD CAM folder with Alex uh, through Fusion on my side. So we're just going to kind of hang here and wait a second uh, until it uh, downloads and installs. want to make sure that he can see the uh, correct Fusion folder uh, on his machine. Okay. We'll, we'll let's keep going to set up. You want to go ahead and, and log in. Uh, Alex is going to go ahead and log in on his own laptop. Since Alex has already made an account, uh, he doesn't need to go through all that again on his laptop or on a different laptop you have at home or on a desktop at your home or a different machine somewhere else. All you should need to do is to come back to this Fusion 360 CAD software, uh, click on this link again, uh, and when you log into your account, you should already have access. So it should go a lot quicker uh, the next time you need to install it uh, on a different machine. Okay. 
so this is still setting up. You can install the Fusion 360 software on as many devices as you would like, but you can only be logged in on one device at a time. So now this is gonna start up Fusion 360. Since this is his first time, it's gonna ask him to sign back in. So I'm gonna ask Alex to come back up here for a second. He's gonna sign in with a student email. Or I, I can do this. So it's going to log him in uh, to Fusion 360. Fusion 360 works a lot like Google Drive. Uh, all of his files will be saved online. Uh, so this says create a team. Uh, and if I try to click on join a team, it's not going to let me click. Uh, click down here. So he has to create his own team. Uh, and we're just going to call it uh, Alex Casale. Casali. Sorry. So he's going to make a team uh, with his own name uh, and hit next. Uh, we'll say do not allow discovery. We'll keep your stuff private. He's going to hit create. It'll take a minute or two to set up your team. He says he's ready to go. So we're going to click on go to team right here. Don't click, got it. It's going to keep logging in into Fusion. Okay. Go ahead and close out of this box and says refer a friend. And what we're going to do is come over here to the left hand corner where it says show data panel. Uh, and these are kind of the files that Alex has. And right now, uh, there's no file for CAD CAM. What Alex needs to do is come up here. Right now, he's logged in to his own team account. Click the little drop down arrow. And instead of being on his own team account, he's going to come down here to where it says single user storage. And we'll check here next to his name. Once he switches over, uh, to single user storage, you can kind of see it refreshed. Uh, and you can see that automatically the CAD CAM folder that I shared with him earlier now appears. So now all it has to do is, is double click on the CAD CAM folder. Uh, it starts with the, uh, it sorts it kind of alphabetically or by numer numer numbers numerically. So we're going to click on the gear setting and do sort by last updated. That way the newest stuff is at the top. He's going to click on B2, try to. And Alex is going to click up here. And he's going to make a folder for himself. And this is where Alex is going to do all of his work. Go ahead and hit enter. And Alex has made his own folder in the 2020-2021 uh, B2, try to folder. So this is where all of Alex's work will be stored and saved. He can get to this work from any computer uh, that has Fusion saved on it. Uh, so this is how you go through, uh, create your account, get verified for your account, download and install it, uh, and then create your own folder with your name on it inside of Try2. Okay, so we'll go ahead uh, and see uh, if we've got any questions.